the fact that we do have Bournemouth up next away from home. So what are your initial thoughts going into this game? Um, I think a lot is going to be... No, do you know what? Actually, I was gonna, I'm was i going to stop myself from saying what I was going to say, and now I'm waffling. Um, <laughs> I was going to say a lot of it, I think, depends on James Madison, but actually, I'm going to take that back because I trust what Ange is doing right now, and I trust these players, and I trust Lo Celso as well. I think he was magnificent, and he's a player I've always thought was, was a superb player and just needed the right system. I don't think any of the managers we've had, Potter included, was right for him. So um, let's not forget this was the guy that was going to start for Argentina at the World Cup, bar his injury. The only reason McAllister is the one that everyone talks about is because of Lo Celso's injury. That is a fact. So he is, you know, going to give us a lot if Madison isn't fit. It was obviously precautionary. I think there's a lot of speculation, a lot of fear. It's classic Tottenham, really. Uh, we can't go long without having some element of fear and, and misery. Um, but look, Bournemouth aren't a bad team. They gave Liverpool a good game. Um, I just feel like we've got superior quality to them. Bournemouth is a tough place to go. Um, and I know it sounds weird saying that because we we have won, I think, every time we've gone there, bar once where I think we drew. But at the same time, um, Iriola is a very, very talented coach. Um, Bournemouth are going to... I think Bournemouth are, are going to be safe this year um, again. I think that Iriola is slowly building something. And um, I'm noticing a lot of change and a lot of positive change at Bournemouth. I think since their takeover with Michael B. Jordan involved as well, um, you know, they, they, they're here to stay. They're not messing around. They're, they're going to do everything they can, I think, including probably uh, upgrading um, the vitality uh, as well. I think they're going to do, you know, they're, they're making moves to remain in the Premier League. They're certainly not acting like a club that looks like they're going to go down to the Championship. So um, I think it's very easy to say, oh, well, it's Bournemouth, the little old Bournemouth. Let's not forget the way we lost to them in the last minute at home. And it was very almost reminiscent of how we beat them at their place. Um, you know, so for me, I'm confident going into this because it's a completely different, different um, system. And it's a completely different way of playing. But I think scoring first is really important here because I think if you can score in the first 15 minutes uh, at a place like Bournemouth, then I think you can control the game. And then you can do the things that I want to see out of Tottenham, which is the likes of keeping Pierre-Emile Hoybier. It doesn't matter if Rodrigo the pool goes to Saudi. I want to keep Hoybier because I think 60, 70 minutes in, you need to close the game out. He's your man. That's exactly what I want to see out of a Hoybier. You know, and I want to see maybe, you know, we, we might change things up a little bit. But ultimately, this is a game where I think I would go with Emerson again, uh, purely because I think that well, as good as Poro was, um, I think that Bournemouth can still hit you with the likes of Semenyo, who has a lot of pace. And, and Bournemouth have brought in some new players. I think uh, Tyler Adams, I don't think is going to be fit just yet, but they brought in... Um, I can't remember his name now, Traore from Sassuolo last season, who is starting to kind of come into his own a little bit. Um, and and let's not forget, you know, Bournemouth have always been a quite an attractive kind of style football team. And yes, I think we're favourites. Uh, yes, I think we'll win. But, you know, Ange is not going to take this game any differently to the one that he took against Man United. I think it's going to be a very much the case of we've got to take it super seriously. Uh, and we've got to start quick because if you go a goal down at Bournemouth, then you're in trouble because, yes, I know we came back last year. But, um, you know, I think this is a, a much better Bournemouth side than the one that we faced last year. And I think, obviously, I would say we're probably a much better side than the one that we were last year, even without Harry Kane. So, yeah, um, I suppose to sort of sum it up, really, I think Spurs will win the game. Um, and I think it's going to be hard to keep a clean sheet. Um just because I know that they do have a lot of attacking threat and they play good stuff. But like I say, quick start, super important. And uh, yeah, for me, time for the front three to really step up. Hmm. And I think that's the main thing. I think I'm kind of in the same kind of boat as well, in a sense that if we don't start quick, look, th this could end sour. And I know we've, we've mentioned this is a different style of play under Ange. Um, and hopefully that does achieve. But it, we need to see these front three, if he keeps with that combo, go and do something against Bournemouth. 
Yeah, definitely. And and the thing is, is that Bournemouth are a different team, right? But what I still do expect from them is I do still expect a low block in defensive positions. And that's what worries me with this Spurs team, is that the way that we play the football and the way that we pass the ball and the way that it needs to be quick, sharp movements, every touch needs to be spot on in this game. Because when you're playing against a low block in a system where the ball moves quickly, is that that's exactly what you have to do. But it has to be done correctly. It's not going to be like, um, you know, late on against Manchester United where, you know, Kulu was kind of one-on-one with Juan Bissaka and and things like that. So we really need to be spot on with exactly that. And, you know, if, I wouldn't be surprised if James Madison does miss the game because, I, you know, even if there is any doubt in it, I think And would prefer to leave him out than to play him in a game like this. You know, mm. it's different than if you play in Man City, different if you play in Arsenal, North London Derby, something like that. But I think, you know, you'd rather have James Madison for the whole season than you wouldn't would have, you know, a game against Bournemouth and then out for, for two months, whatever happens. But, you know, Bournemouth have done absolutely fantastic business this window. Like, let's not forget, you know, Max Aarons, Alex Scott, uh, Tyler Adams, um, Semenya. You know, they're just so many good names that they've brought in. And, uh, you know, fair play to them for that. I do expect Spurs to win. I've also gone in, you know, in our, our show, we've got a little score prediction league going on between our hosts. And uh, I have gone for a clean sheet again for Spurs. But it's not going to be as easy as, as you'd expect. You know, you watch the game against Manchester United and you think, oh, this first team will walk all over Bournemouth. But they will set up completely differently. And uh, they'll, you know, at times invite pressure. The thing is about this Spurs team with the inverted fullbacks is that if they if the team invites pressure and the inverted fullbacks get too far forward, the wingers have to be able to track back because otherwise you're left with two centre-backs um, on their own. Mm. And I, I don't really want to see it. As much as I love Romero and Mackie, uh, Mickey van der Ven, I, I don't really want to see that scenario. Um, but yeah, I think you're both right. I think we need to start quick. I think our touches need to be on point. And I think that's something that a lot of our players at times kind of lack with the likes of Richie and like you said, Decky. So hopefully they manage to sort that out. Um, but it's going to be interesting. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what that lineup is again, whether Madison plays or whether Madison doesn't. But Luke, I think you make a, a valid point in the sense that I'd probably rather see Gio or someone else in that in that position than rather risk Madison getting worse uh, if he is carrying an injury. 